it's Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. So in my last video, we welcomed Shank into the kingdom, which was really exciting. If you guys missed that video, make sure to check that one out. We also started the building of Slaughter Ray. So here we can see we've got like around 20 seconds left until it is totally complete. And then we'll be able to see the shark come out of the manhole. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. So there is Slaughter Race all built. And I'm sure when we click it, we're gonna get dialogue in a second here, but it looks super cool. I absolutely love it. Ralph, oh, uh, hey, look, a direct connection to Slaughter Race and right here in this game too. Uh, and the part around it that looks like someone just punched a hole in the software architecture to make a path there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was like that the whole time. Quest complete, ready, set, drive. Especially the part that's still leaking binary. That definitely looks like it's on purpose. <laughs> There's the shark, oh my goodness. Okay, we'll wait till he comes back out. I think this has to be the coolest part of this attraction is the shark, I love it. I also love too the fire that's coming out of the pipes there. It's super intense. Um, I think it's one of those things I think it needs to be by uh, Syndrome's place over here. Yeah, there it is. So it's got like the fire too, but I don't know, it looks super cool. Okay, I'm going in. If I don't come out in a while, I guess I've gotta hope some player out there calls one of those tech support hotlines. <laughs> or uh, post help. Ralph was probably run over by an acid spitting monster truck online. I don't know. It's dangerous in there. Go Turbo! Send Ralph to go to Slaughter Race. Okay, so Ralph is gonna be the first character to enter the attraction. No, he still has a few minutes on his quest. All right, so I tried to time it up with Ralph, but um, I guess when I was setting all my characters out, it took about five minutes. So Ralph was one of those ones that was sort of, yeah, it kind of was a casualty in all of this. So it's okay, we'll just wait a few minutes and then we can send Ralph out for the quest and then hopefully get the dialogue from that. Now, I want you guys to remember to keep tapping those spam blockers and uh, also too that you're clearing all the viruses all right away on time because that is something we really need to do at this point um, because we need lots of those Wi-Fi chips. Now, delete the viruses, more are going to respawn in 43 minutes for me. So this is the first time where literally their system has crashed <laughs> and the viruses have are not actually in my kingdom right now. There is not one out there, so I've cleared them all. Um, but again, they do respawn, but you just have to wait. So I'm not sure how many that is. I think it's like five maybe or something. Um, but anyway, so I've got to wait until more viruses come around. So even if you have all of um, the tokens and stuff like that, and you're ready to clear a virus, if you guys hold on to them too long, then you're gonna end up waiting for them to respawn at this point in the event. Now, this is something you don't have to worry about earlier on in the event. It's just something that happens a little bit later. So um, I was keeping on top of it, but now that I've got three characters out to collect those trackers, it definitely makes a huge difference. And you have to tap all of those spam blockers now, which are those little pink things that fly around and stuff like that. Um, you have to tap them w right away when they respawn, otherwise you're gonna miss out on uh, clearing the viruses. Now I am opening a frozen legendary chest for you guys, I know a lot of you have been requesting me to do this. And Elsa's Chara stand, that is an awesome concession. I already have it, I was hoping to get the Wandering Oakens. Um, it looks like the only way I might be able to get it is by opening a chest with real money or just continuing to use all my gems, which, you know, not super fond of doing, but that's okay, we'll, we'll see. If you guys want me to open another one, let me know in the comments below. So, so far in this event, I've welcomed Ralph, Spamly, uh, yes, Shank, Calhoun, Big Felix Jr., and now all that's really left is Vanellope. So, out of the seven new characters, I've got six so far, so I think I'm doing pretty well here. And these are the things that we need for Vanellope. Now, it's a little bit different than the Little Mermaid event for sure. So, we still need uh, one more token for uh, Aladdin's collection, well, really it's Jasmine's genie lamp, I guess, and then for Cinderella, the 
uh, shattered glass slipper. So we still have to collect one of each of those, but then it's just Belle's books and then one other thing, which is actually we have to collect a lot of, and I'm assuming that might be uh, something that the princesses do once we get Belle's costume. So I think we're just gonna have to wait and see. I'm hoping all of the characters that are part of the event are going to be able to help as well as the princesses. But again, I don't know for sure. So we're gonna have to wait and see what happens because they're doing this event just slightly differently to how, than how they normally do them. So in the Striking Gold leaderboard event, um, I am doing very well. I am on on track to get one of these Wreck-It Ralph gold trophies, which is a cute little decoration that can fit in anybody's kingdom. You can't give me an excuse why you shouldn't try and get this and fit it into your kingdom because there's always room for that. Because your attractions and concessions, yes, they fill up a lot of stuff, but there's those are so tiny that trust me, you can fit it in anywhere. Burnt pie stand, guys, is the only thing that's showing up here in my featured items. I wanted to show you guys because uh, a lot of you have been saying the cherry stand has not been there, and it's still not there for me. I did purchase one, though, with Fix It Felix Jr. with real money just because it wasn't there. So if you guys missed that video, then that's sort of why I did uh, that. Now, all that's left with the event in terms of all of the event goals, I just have to welcome a beauty again, which I've already welcomed Belle. I actually she's a level nine right now so uh, basically it's gonna sort of skip over that task now I've got her costume and then it's welcome Vanellope and then after that is Ariel's costume I know a lot of people think that you have to collect Belle's costume um, and Ariel's at the same time that is not the case it is gonna be Belle's costume then it's going to be uh, Vanellope and then after that will be Ariel's costume. So Ariel probably will not be helping at all with Vanellope's uh, character tokens that we are going to need to collect for her. So that is something I think that's pretty interesting. Now there is Ralph. He is now in Slaughter Race. So <laughs> he's gone for quite some time, but that's okay. Until then I decided I was gonna level up with Sabi. I don't know. I just was trying to pick somebody here. Wasabi is now level eight. Woohoo! I'm feeling that adrenaline now. <laughs> He's one of those ones I feel like that's kind of like, yes, like super duper excited about crazy things. Mind you, Wasabi's a little bit more nervous and stuff in that regard and a bit more um, nervous, but I don't know, it's just something funny, I think. Now I want to level up Calhoun, which I'm gonna do actually right now. And then I want to also try and level up another character. So I've got a choice of Shank, I've got Spamly, so we'll see. Shank, hmm, better. I saw this lecture on walking meditation once, and ever since, I've sworn by it. It really helps you cool down. I think most players would appreciate it too, if I'm honest. Like, sure, use my game to have fun and all, but if you're ever tempted to be cruel to someone online, just get some fresh air. Take a walk, breathe deep, it works. And remember, if you do disrespect someone on my turf, you're gonna get got. <laughs> What? Quest complete. Uh, need more energy. <laughs> I love that line. Cutscene dialogue isn't all bad, you know? <laughs> Gonna get God. All right, you heard it from Shank. If you guys talk trash in the comments, you're gonna get God. Ah, there's nothing like a good day's work to get the old blood pumping, is there? And I appreciate all the glowy little sparkles that show up when something's under construction. Those are some A-plus graphics. I did make a point of staying out of the local handyman's way, though. Don't want to step on any toes. I think he's talking about Gooby's toes. <laughs> I think I remember that from like one of the very first things. Was, it was Gooby's the local handyman. Though, how he can take six hours just to change a light bulb is anyone's guess. Quest complete, loading new environment. I suppose he has his own special technique for it is all. 
<laughs> it's true. Goofy, I think, does change the light bulb for like six hours. Yikes on bikes. It's already lunchtime, but that means I've got 15 servings of chicken pot pie to bake by an hour ago. Oh, I should explain. You see, my lady love and I recently decided to open our home to an uh, assortment of lovable youngsters. Oh, bless their rambunctious little hearts. <laughs> oh, shucks. But why am I spending so much time thinking about my life choices? I could be baking. <laughs> Parent function, send Felix to go to Niceland. Oh my goodness, that must be for all the little sugar rush uh, people that their game's been unplugged. Wow, he is honestly the slowest runner in the entire kingdom. I thought Sarge was super slow, but Felix, you win the award of slowest running character in the kingdom. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so um, that was some interesting dialogue. I love when the characters mix up with other characters. So like Felix is talking about Goofy. I love when they, they sneakily put in some things like that into the dialogue. I don't know if anybody else caught that, but if you did, let me know in the comments below. Now we still have a little over a day to wait for the new costume for Belle. So hopefully I can unlock that before uh, it becomes available. Calhoun is now level five. It's make your mama's proud time. Oh yeah, we like making mamas proud, especially my mama. <laughs> All right, um, I am gonna choose to level up Shank. Um, she's only 35 minutes, so that's a super quick level up. And then the one I'd really like to do because he's a little bit longer before the next thing is released would be Ralph. So fingers crossed guys that uh, I can do that. I have enough Wi-Fi tokens after this. <laughs> Shank is now level four. As someone who really looks forward to getting new animations, yeah, I'm liking this. <laughs> High five, Shank, you are awesome and you deserve all the cool animations because you are such a cool character. Bob just rolled by with the news. Looks like another player wants to tangle with me. An NPC's work is never done, you know? She says you know a lot. <laughs> sure, most slaughter racers don't get to me until they're a pretty high level, but I've gotta stay on the clock just in case. Not that I mind, that's the fun in the, this gig. You never know whether tomorrow will bring a helicopter race or a bank heist. So cool, so cool. Mission, game on. Send Shank to slaughter race mission? <laughs> I guess we're sending her on a slaughter race mission. I guess that's what that whole task dot slaughter race thing is. I don't know. Uh, it's very confusing to try and read, but yeah, basically we're sending her on a mission at slaughter race. So she's off to do that for a little while before we get the dialogue for that. So you know what? One thing I did actually want to point out to you guys, which I have actually been sometimes just find myself staring in my kingdom for long periods of time, because this, I still haven't seen it yet, is we haven't got the use of the decorations yet. You're supposed to be able to use the decorations. Now we've got Roz and Jesse promoting Fix It Felix Jr.'s game, and Sugar Rush is over here. No one's promoting this one, but I would love to see some of the wandering kids in the park, our visitors, actually use these decorations, because they can apparently, I have just yet to see it. So if you guys have actually seen that animation, let me know in the comments below. I think that is one of the most exciting things I am looking forward to now in this event. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to see it before the event's over, but for whatever reason, it seems to be really hard to catch kids in action in this kingdom. I don't know what it is. They are sneaky. They're always doing it when the, the game's closed or whatever, but I don't know. I almost felt like going to bed and leaving my screen just record. The only thing is I don't know if it would just stay on for me for that long, so I don't know. But I thought it would be super cool if I could catch at least at one of the decorations. They need to make 
these kids, these visitors around the park maybe interact with the attractions and decorations and stuff like that more because I know they're supposed to be able to do that, especially with the newer decorations at least. Um, but a lot of times you can't catch the kids even going to a concession. So they either need to have more kids visiting or they need to be more actively involved um, in the kingdom. That way we can actually catch them doing things. Uh, so right here, guys, I'm showing you the big, giant, I call it the battleground in this game. Um, it comes and goes depending on the event. Now we haven't had any use of it so far, which is kind of sad. Usually in the events, we've got something happening already by now, but I'm really looking forward to seeing the action right there because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be amazing. And I just wonder though, I wonder if the princesses are gonna be involved in this or it's just going to be the characters that are part of the event. So it'll be basically the six characters, it won't be seven because Vanellope will be the one that we're trying to free or save or rescue, right? So pretty much we just were waiting to sort of find out what the use is. Oh my gosh, kid, there you are! We found Vanellope? What? Ralph! Aw, it's good to see you too, Stenchfuzzle. What took you so long? I ran through all my idol animations forever ago. She's so cute. Well, I didn't think you'd be here. I've been looking all over for you, and this is the best place you can find to camp out? Oh, don't be such a big baby. With that virus running around, Slaughter Race was the safest place I could think of. I haven't even been flamethrowered at in three whole minutes. <laughs> Flamethrower? Jeez. Quest complete. Go turbo. Okay, we're going to have this conversation later. Right now, we've got a virus to wreck. Okay. Oh, we've got dialogue and Mickey's in the corner, but it's Merlin. Do I recall the phrase? Well, have to do more research. Being spoken not too long ago. Well, in that case, I believe we both know exactly who we should be talking to. Welcome, a beauty. Again? Welcome, Belle. Yay, we've done it. We have Welcome, Belle, and here she is. This is just like a fairy tale. Well, what are you waiting for? Just one more spell to cast and we'll really be off to the races. <laughs> I get it, races, like slaughter races. All right, <laughs> quest complete. Welcome a beauty again. Wow, this is everything I ever dreamed of. This is more than I dreamed of, yay! We've unlocked another costume, I'm sure of it. Oh, dialogue, again? Cinderella. I've sent a message to Belle about the progress we've made so far. I'm so happy she'll be done with her quiz before too long. If this curse is anything like that Trojan horse you mentioned, I'm sure she'll know exactly what to do about it. Me too. No matter what the problem is, you can always count on Belle to have just the right book to solve it. Welcome, a natural beauty. So this is an event quest, get Belle's comfy outfit. Yay, guys! So one day, 12 hours is what I still have to wait. So I've got about 36 hours to go before Belle's comfy, cozy costume is gonna be unlocked and available for me to start collecting for. So this is actually a pretty big video. We've unlocked the costume and we built slaughter race. So this is huge. Oh my goodness, so I already have Belle's two other costumes. Well, one of them comes with her, just the blue one, and then her yellow big ball gown was after that. So this is gonna be awesome. We're gonna have all the costumes. Jiminy, Jiminy, now that's what I call a workout. The baking went off without a hitch, but getting them all to sit down at the table at once, that's something else all together. I wonder if I can add a couple dozen safety harnesses to my dining room chairs by dinner time. 
Quest complete. Parent function. Nah, no need. I'm sure them knocking over my china cabinet was just a one-time thing. You can just fix it, Felix. It doesn't even matter. Just use your hammer and it doesn't even matter what they wreck. You can just be on cleanup duty for the kids. Yes, <laughs> I am crushing it today. Just signed one of those new VTubers to an exclusive contract. Nice girl, even if the sailor suit looks been done before. Are we talking about like Sailor Moon or something? <laughs> And don't get me started on my new streaming TV play. Spoiler alert, edgy live action fairy tales will be hot next year. Quest complete, be your best self. And not a TOS violation in sight either. Man, I am good. Yes, you are very good, yes. Oh my goodness. Terms of services was TOS if you guys didn't clue into that, but uh, it looks like, I think we've got some more dialogue here. Yep, Shank. Hmm, well, that was different. I know we added that golf mini game last month, but I didn't actually expect anyone to want to play it with me. I mean, I still want though. I've got a reputation to keep up. Quest complete, mission, game on. I also won the golf cart fight we got into five seconds later. Honestly, that was more my speed. Of course it was, because what was her thing? You crash an ambulance, or wait, you steal a stolen ambulance and crash it into a ravine or something like that? I don't know, it was some dialogue from the last video and it was something ridiculous like that. So Shay? is like totally bad, mm, I can't say that last word, but she is intense, we'll just leave it at that. Wow, super impressive, super cool, honestly. I wish I was as cool as Shank. Anyways, speaking of a cute little bunny, well actually we're not talking about bunnies, we're talking about cool razors, but anyways, here's Thumper in now at level eight. I think I can thump even better now. Oh, he's so cute. I love Thumper. Can't believe he's so high now though. That's so insane. So I need to bring Bambi into the kingdom once this event is over, guys. If you guys have been following along, you will probably most certainly know that by now. But if you guys haven't been following along, Bambi is something I've been kind of holding off on just because um, of the event. So, and the magic situation, I guess, too. All right, so striking gold. Accept this magical reward for achieving rank 27 on the leaderboard with a score of 395. So I got 2,500 event currency and the Wreck-It Ralph gold trophy. Yes, I totally just did a fist pump, guys. Actually did a major fist pump. Actually, I want to do like a whole bunch. Of, like, punch the air and like, get super excited. Okay, because I worked my tail off for that decoration. I really wanted that gold trophy in the kingdom, so I, I did it. I didn't need to come in the top 10, That those people were crazy, like 600 gold trophies they went around and collected, but you know what? I'm happy where I came. Christopher Robin is now level seven. Let's have a hero party. I know, he loves his hero parties. Now Christopher Robin takes ages to collect for, that's why I leveled him up. I recently, I uh, leveled up Jack Jack too, so I could start that whole process. Again, they're super hard to collect for. Now, Ralph is the last character I'm gonna be leveling up in this video. Um, and I decided on Ralph because he's like eight hours and I thought, you know, why not sort of do that while um, I'm waiting for the costume to become available. I know I'll need to go crazy on collecting those Wi-Fi tokens, but you know what? That is a goal that I can spend the next 36 hours doing. So here is the gold trophy in the kingdom. Ah! <laughs> yeah, 
Anyways, totally awesome that it's in the kingdom now, and so I'm super glad. Let me know in the comments below how you did in that last leaderboard event, and if you have been able to collect one of those gold trophies in one of the two leaderboards that they have had that you could have collected that. So that is everything I'm going to be doing for this video, so, guys. So thank you for watching another Disney Girls Disney's Magic Kingdoms game video. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit that little bell for post notifications, and don't forget to give this video a big giant Mickey thumbs up, and we will see you for the next one.